Perfect. Oh no! <laughs> I want to be mad about that, but that was just too perfect. Oh, I got all across all of my T's dot in my eyes, and I fell in. Hey guys, Zach Morris here, and welcome back to Thomas Was Alone. So in this episode, we're going to be tackling 3.1 Associations, which is Chapter 3, and moving on. Right, what are we doing here? I built protection into the system. When overlaps occurred, the world generator splinter to remove the unwanted additionals. It was like a white blood cell. Investigates, it captures, and it removes from play. Uh. Laura was pleased this one was behind the wall. Maybe he'd never known what she could do. Maybe, maybe they could just have a conversation. Find out. All right, so we got Laura, who's a different red. Alright, so she so Laura likes Chris. She wants to have a conversation with him. Alright, come on, Chris. Uh That was new. Laura didn't have time to worry about the ominous pixel graphics. It had been following her for some time, but it kept itself to itself from turning More important. Mm-hmm. Oh. She's a trampoline. Oh, no. What is it doing? Come on, Laura. Only the ominous pixel cloud ever remains. A little bigger and a little less hungry with every disappearing frame. I think I figured out what happened. Thank you. 
I think I screwed this up. I can get over there without having to rely on Chris. Okay, never mind. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna have to reset. Alright. I see. Alright, Laura, come on. Or Laura. Laura. Well, oh, Chris is shy. That's to be expected. And now I'm down here and I can't get out. Uh, Laura, come back! <laughs> can't get up there without Laura, so. Oh! I can't land on this. Hmm. As long as I don't fall down the hole, I'll probably be fine. Chris over there first before we sink her into our thing. There we go. Uh, there it is. Well, this is a... Uh, Chris? So, Chris does indeed reciprocate her feelings. It's kind of cute. Alright. Chris, I'm gonna need you. This requires a bit of coordination.
Okay. So Laura can't fall in, but Chris definitely can. Laura's like incapable of falling in because she's just too wide. Okay, bounce, 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 bounce. catch up up oh, now Chris but that one's weird that one's really coded shouldn't be able to sink that far bounce 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 You're precious. You're my precious little boy. Oh, I can't. They, nobody can bounce. Go, Chris. You're free. John! Away, my boy! Alright, well, we're slowly assembling a team. Yeah, but well, where is Claire? We haven't seen her in a while. Alright, John. Oh, she's in her elevator. Alright, perfect. That is ominous. Let's just, uh... Alright, we need to shuffle... We need to shuffle... Shuffle off to buffle some people around. Can Chris get out on his own? No, he cannot. Alright. I'm roughly back to where I was. Not entirely, but in any case, I did not screw it up and trap Chris down here. Like an idiot. I did not do that. Laura's already in her spot, which means Thomas, you're last. The others seem suspicious of Laura. And the eager looking pixel cloud of death which seemed to be watching her. Sure, they'd use her inherent bounciness to reach slightly higher jump points, but they wouldn't strike up a conversation with her. Chris found them rude. Rude? And always there.
right, I need one more. Okay. So the others don't really seem to like Laura all that much. I need Laura to jump across the thing. And John, you need to help her. Alright, there we go. There we go, John. Contributing to society. There we go. Hmm. The others wouldn't drop it. Who is that cloud guy? Why is he following us? What's that rumbling hungry sound he keeps making? Chris, can we just leave Laura behind? Hmm. So they don't like Laura very much because they think she's the embodiment of death. Alright, how do we get him out? Let's see. I have to arrange them in their specific configuration or I can't get them all out. Thomas just moves out of the way. Alright, Laura, you need to stay under. L Laura, where are you going? Where are you going? Hmm. Alright, I need to get everybody up. Thomas is getting shoved around. I need to get everybody up here. So, I'll start with Laura since she can help other, everybody else get up. John can get up there by himself. He's a big boy. Chris needs help. John's getting shoved around. And John's getting shoved around again. And now, John, you're a big boy. You can get up here by yourself. You don't need anybody else's help. John did all of this by himself. He's a big boy. Alright, now how are we getting Laura up here? Stop floating! 
Why is John floating? Is it, does he stick to walls? Is that an ability I didn't know they had? Or is it just because the moving platforms is causing the physics to break? Probably the latter one. Probably the latter one. Wait. Oh. Aha. I figured it out. I figured it out, George. I don't know who George is. Alright, now I just gotta rearrange them in the right configuration. Oh. Laura, where are you? Laura, where are you going? Uh, oh, Laura. Laura. The physics are just breaking. Thomas, go help Chris. Never mind. John, go help Chris. Alright, Chris first, since he can't jump. And, well, uh, I, I probably shouldn't have left John behind, but whatever, the elevator comes back soon. There we go. There we go, that was a bit... All right. Oh, there's Claire. There's Claire back. Now everything is right with the world. The gang's all here. Oh. Well, everybody's gonna have to... Everybody's gonna have to work together. Oh, nope, we need Chris. We actually need Chris. Oh, it does, it resets because the water level rises and then I can't. I died. <laughs> uh. All right, everybody has to be on top of on top of um Claire, and Claire needs to be in the right spot. All right, this one's a bit tricky, but this is the last level. At least, no, second to last. Never mind. Perfect. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I want to be mad about that, but that was just too perfect. Uh, I got all across all of my T's dotted my eyes, and I fell in. Let's get everybody in a let's get everybody in the right place, in the right position before we even begin to try and move um Claire out of the way. All right, everybody's out of the water. Claire, you're safe. You're safe to do what you do best. Oh. Thomas needs to go on. Thomas. Thomas and Chris need to reconfigure themselves so that one is on top of the other. Or 
not. Oh, wait. I need John. I need John. Or do I? How do I... Do I need to use Claire as a footstool? Ah, uh, yes I do! Claire... Claire is surprisingly mobile. She, she doesn't... She isn't offset by a lot of weight. It makes perfect sense, actually. And now Claire can move into position. There we go. That was it. Well, now how do we configure? I'm assuming Chris goes here. We seem to be safe inside the boxes. John is stuck! Oh, there we go. Claire's the big one. Claire's the big F in this. There we go. And now it's just Thomas and Claire. And uh, Laura, not Claire. Claire's the blue one. Or it's the pink one. I've never been good with names, I swear. I swear to you, I have never been good with them. Uh, 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 back in the configuration, you. On top of Th Thomas, who will then ferry you across and up. And now you can help Thomas out. Nope. Nope, nope, Thomas, 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 Thomas. There we go. There we go. No, no, we're not doing that. Um, alright. Well, that was chapter three. Done. Done and done and dead. Okay. Well, so this is getting interesting. We have five people now. Well, people, but we have five groups in the in it. Um so So it's clear that we're going to be moving on. Also that fragments of t text just floating in the void. It's distracting. All right. But we got five people, each with their own unique abilities. So now we can bounce on top of Laura to get to new places. But she herself can't jump very high. So, yeah. But she is longer and can fit through even narrower spaces that Chris couldn't fit through. So that's also a plus. So she's shorter than Chris and can, f and can fit in a tighter spaces and then people can bounce on top of her. All right. That's... Actually, pretty helpful. So, with that out of the way, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter in the description below. And also, check out my Patreon in the description below as well if you want to help support the show. It's only a couple bucks a month. It really helps me out, and you guys get access to a bunch of cool perks that are my way of saying thanks. So, be sure to check those out. It's help support me, and I will help support you guys in kind. But anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!